Test, test, test. Hi, everyone. I wanted to hop back on here because I officially know my social type now, and I'm super excited to share it with you all. If you watched my last video, also the interview that I did with Kendrick, we sort of talked it out and he came to the conclusion that I was most likely a social type one. And by the end of our discussion, but that's what I was kind of leaning towards too. At the very beginning, I thought maybe I was a two because that is a very typical EP. Uh, and, and I'm an EP. My official full type is that I'm a double feminine, S-E-T-E, -E, play, blast, sleep, consume, uh, which makes me an ESFP jumper. Also, my, my animals are kind of weird. I'm play, blast, sleep, consume. I'm missing consume. My whole blind spot and my whole deal is that I am a consume last, which means that I have a very hard time seeing self. But one of the biggest uh, issues in my life that come up over and over and over is my uh, body image. So I didn't actually sign up for the typing service. I was randomly sitting having a beer the other night. I glanced down at my phone and it said that I had an email from Dave at ObjectivePersonality.com. And of course I freak out. I'm like, what? Like, he's just emailing me out of the blue. It was a super cool surprise, okay? I tried to record this a few nights ago and I kept giggling. Okay, my social type back. And it was so stupid and I had to stop and I thought, all right, get your shit together and re-record this another day. So that's this now. But I just want to share like the first three seconds of Dave's audio that he sent to me. I was grinning like an idiot in the restaurant. Probably, I was probably grinning in my sleep. Candice, you little goddamn superstar. You know that? Gypsy Rose audio that was trending for a while. I'm on a high right now. Yeah, I can. I don't know how it goes, but that's kind of how I felt. <laughs> okay, anyway, all of this to say, I am very happy to know definitively that I am a social type one because it answers so many questions about why I don't necessarily feel like my type. Also, I don't know why I feel the need to say this, but this is not my house. This is not my room. You know, I feel like when I watch people's videos, especially ops-related interviews, I, I I definitely look at the background of the people and I think like, oh, that's that's their room. That's how they are. That's how they live. This is not how I live, okay? This is just a spare room that's connected to our office that I'm using because I just needed a private quiet space to make this video. So not my room. Anyway, one reason why I really enjoy watching Dave and Shan. Okay, from the outside, I'm very well aware that Ops probably looks very cultish because it's it's like um, you're listening to Father God and Mother God, right? Because <laughs> they're like the only two people on the screen and they're the ones talking about all of this research that they've been doing and why so-and-so has this type. I get it. I get it. It's It does feel very cultish, which is freaking funny to me. But anyway, one thing that really identify with and why I love watching them so much is because they are they are a couple, but they also live together and they work together and they're creating the system, but also marketing it, but also they have this subscription going, but they're also trying to manage their lives. I relate to that so much because I also work with my husband. So we work together, we live together, we are constantly working on projects together. It's our life's goal to really get our business off of the ground and to eventually turn it into something where we can live comfortably. And I kind of see that with them as well. In my head, I think it's a very small minority of people who can actually live and work successfully with their spouse. And so I love watching other people like that. Because I know it's not easy. So my husband and I have been working together ever since 2016 when we started our first business together. And I have to say, at the time, I was a very baby naive, cryberries, cryberry, crybaby sensitive, emotional idiot. I mean, every time we like got into some kind of a minor disagreement about like business decisions, I would cry and walk away and stop working and throw a tantrum like... I just didn't know how to handle my emotions. I did not know how to really keep my mind focused on the task or the mission at hand. I couldn't because my emotions would get the best of me. But over time, I think we have gotten to the point where I haven't seen any other couple that works better together than we do. 
I know that's such a flexy thing to say. I'm not trying to brag or anything. We work very well together because we know we can trust each other as partners. Our goals are aligned. We know what we need to do. We know what highest priority. We're so accustomed to each other's point of view and way of working. We really don't fight all that much. And we're very professional. I, I think it helps that we're both FI users. So, you know, there's, there's absolutely no weird PDA or um, I, w- I would never be caught dead in the office saying something like, hey, babe, like, <laughs> like that's so weird. I cannot <laughs> see, like, I'm getting weird just even talking about it. But, you know, we're super professional. Um, even on like emails where we have to see each other, it's like just so direct, neutral, straight to the point. And I love that about us. Anyway, my, my whole point is it's really cool that Dave and Shan also are doing that while also scaling their business together. And for, for someone like me, I think that most EPs secretly have a desire to do this type of stuff where you make videos or you make content or you want to be an interviewer or something like that where you're getting your play energy out, but you're also kind of growing a following maybe through my eyes. I'm so envious of them because not only are they building this hustle together, but they're also doing all this stuff on camera and laughing and having fun. And yeah, it, it it's so different because for my husband and I, we we work together on a business, but it's just a business that has nothing to do with like this, right? We're not doing these little interviews or talking about like it's not a reality show it's not a reality show but for them it almost feels like it because they're uncovering things and they're processing things in live time they're typing in live time i don't know i i'm i'm envious of it and i think it's really cool and and i think to myself like that must be such a fun life but but that's just me i know <laughs> like i like doing this kind of stuff but I know that for someone like my husband, he would never be caught having a channel like this. Or I think if I ever asked him to sit down and do like an interview, like, <laughs> like <laughs> he would, he would, no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> but that's what I love about him. We're so, we're so different. And okay. Oh, I just noticed that I have like this FI face where when I get all giddy, yuck. it's like how Bretman Rock says, I'm an ugly crier, so I don't cry. Yeah, it's kind of like that. As a consumed last, I really, really, really like don't know how I'm perceived. I don't know. I don't have a good understanding of how I look. So when I do these videos, it makes me a lot more comfortable with what I look like and also what I sound like. I don't know what it's like to be consumed first and be so in touch with how you look. I can't imagine how secure and settling that feels. It's been very enlightening to think that maybe the consume last is the root of all of my problems. Maybe it's not anything to do with society. Maybe it's not anything to do with how I was raised or psychological childhood, upbringing, anything. Maybe it's as simple as my consume last. And if I can go off of that, then I feel a lot more unstoppable than to say if I had to untangle my childhood to understand why I don't like the way I look, you know? And in that sense, it just gives me this lighter neutrality on the biggest issues in my life. Anyway, I just wanted to say that I am officially social type one. Yeah. I am back and I'm going to keep making videos because this is what I love and I hope you'll continue to watch. Okay, bye.